on Capitol Hill, House lawmakers heard heart-wrenching testimony Wednesday from the Guatemalan mother of a toddler who died after she became sick in an ICE jail near the U.S.-Mexico border. Yasmin Juarez says her 18-month-old daughter, Marie, was healthy when she brought her to the U.S. in March, seeking political asylum. But one week after the pair were jailed at the South Texas Family Residential Center in Dilly, Texas, the girl developed a cough, diarrhea and vomiting, with a fever that spiked to 104 degrees. Juarez says her daughter received inadequate medical care in the clinic set up in the center's gymnasium. After their release, Juarez rushed her daughter to the emergency room of the local hospital. She spent six weeks in the hospital before she died of complications from a deadly lung infection. Todo el arduo trabajo de los médicos llegó demasiado tarde. Mi María murió el Día de las Madres, que es en la ciudad de mi país, se celebra el Día de las Madres. Cuando yo salí del hospital ese día, todo lo que tenía conmigo era un pedazo de papel en la cual los médicos se encargaron de hacer las manitas, las manitas de mi niña. Eso era lo único que a mí me quedó, solo sus manitas. Las enfermeras lo hicieron el día anterior como regalo del Día de las Madres. Juarez has filed a $60 million lawsuit against the United States for the wrongful death of her daughter, Marie. She was one of seven children to die in U.S. immigration custody or shortly after a release from custody over the past year. Before last year, no child died in U.S. immigration custody in over a decade.